A total solar eclipse will cross over Texas one month from today on April 8th. Houston is not in the path uh, all. Uh, yeah, Houston is not in the path of totality. Parts of Texas, of course, are. Uh, however, you'll still have a great view here in the city of Houston. Joining me now to explain more about this year's total eclipse is Dr. Alex Young with NASA. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming on the show this morning. Oh, I'm not sure if it's just my IFB. Oh, he is there. Okay. Uh, tell us all about the solar eclipse and what happens when it takes place. Well, so the sun is in a special alignment with the earth. The moon is moving in between the two and it's casting a shadow on our planet. If you happen to be in this narrow path at the center of the mm -hmm. shadow, you will see the moon completely block the sun out, revealing the outer atmosphere called the corona. And for those who are not in the path directly, such as Houston, you will see the moon slowly start to bite away at the sun. And in Houston, 94% of the sun will be covered at the peak of the eclipse. And that's still a good portion. That, that's still pretty great for viewing. It's still going to be fantastic. The one thing to remember is because you're not in totality, which is the only time you can safely look at the sun, you want to make sure that you're using yeah. safe solar viewing glasses or an indirect viewing method. Yeah, we're going to be passing out some of those uh, glasses next week to our, our insiders, our, our loyal KPRC2 viewers. Hey, you know, I have a question for you, Dr. Young. You know, we keep talking about this, this path of totality. How wide, how many miles wide is that path? Do you know approximately? It's about 120 miles why wow that's pretty significant so pretty sig yeah, yeah. It's pretty significant yeah i know and it travels up through texas it goes up through arkansas indiana uh into you know parts of new york my parents live in upstate new york and they're actually going to be in that path but they run the risk of not being able to see it because of cloud coverage up of there course, yeah. in the northeast but you know the cool thing about eclipses is it's not just the visual part it's actually the whole experience yeah. because even if it's clouded, you're still going to experience it getting very dark. Um, you're going to hear the animals change, the temperature is oh, wow. going to change. So it's really very much a sensory experience, not just the visual part. Yeah, that is actually a really good point. We haven't talked much about that. And I recall uh, from years ago, what was it, 2017 was our last? Yes, uh, yes. And I, rem I was in Minneapolis at the time, and I, I don't remember the path of totality for that event, but I do remember, you know, the noise, the, the environment, the sound of the environment, that all changed. Yeah, it's, it's, quite, it's quite amazing. You know, it's, it's something that's pretty exciting because it happens so quickly and you, your, your senses are just not, they just don't know what's going on, and it makes it really, really spectacular. When, um, uh, when, how often do these uh, uh, eclipses occur? Well, eclipses actually happen in pairs, usually about twice a year. That is a, a lunar eclipse okay, followed yep. by a solar eclipse about two weeks later. But total solar eclipses usually take, they're usually about 18 months apart. So they're a little bit more rare, but you always have pairs of eclipses in usually at least two every year. As an expert, I'm just curious, what are you most excited about? Well, for me personally, I'm a, I'm a solar astrophysicist, so I study the sun. I've been studying this part of the sun that we see during totality for, for several decades. And seeing it with your own eyes is really amazing. I mean, I feel it's, it's such a, a, a unique opportunity to kind of be connected to you know, our star, to our universe, yeah. but also the sun has an activity cycle of about 11 years from low, high, back down to low, and we're about to reach the peak of it. And the corona itself is very different. It looks different than it did in 2017. And so getting an opportunity to see it now is something that's unique from, you know, from a scientific perspective. Yeah, we're really excited. I know you guys are, are, are very excited as well. And we, we so much appreciate your time this morning talking about the eclipse. Well, I really appreciate you having me, and anytime, it's always great to talk about it. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon.